Okay, so in this video, uh, I've gotten multiple questions about how I reapply the liquid metal on a PlayStation 5. Um, I found a couple videos online, but honestly, there's a couple things that I feel like they've left out that um, are either not good or some changes that I've made personally. Uh, and so this is kind of the process that I go through. So I use these little wipes, uh, and they're just like pieces of cloth. They can be bought online on um, Amazon, Mobile Centrix, anywhere. And so I think that the one trick that we have figured out here is that if you put alcohol on these wipes, the liquid metal won't stick to it. So what we do is we pretty much wet this whole thing completely saturated. And, uh, and then we start kind of creating one lump of the liquid metal. So as you can see right now, it's all, uh, all like uh, spread out. And so with this little cloth wet, I'm just going to start wiping just like this and going all the way around until I make one big bubble. Uh, now typically when you receive a PlayStation that's overheating, it would have a dry spot typically right over here on the top part. Um, but I mean, not on this one. This one was fine, but just for the sake of making this video and making some kind of tutorial, I, I'm doing this. And we got to do this same uh, procedure for both the heatsink and the uh, dye. So you just want to clean it back and forth. And again, as long as all of that black stuff right there, uh, that's like dirt and stuff that's that's gotten into the liquid metal, and you don't want that. Uh, so what I do here is just fold it over. And now that we have this here, this is an applicator that you can buy on Amazon. This one is. Uh, conduct knots or something like that I don't know and but we do have a thermal grizzly one too uh, to, to be honest they're all the same thing uh, now that you have a bubble right over here I just put the tip in like that and then just suck it up and and the reason why you want to put it kind of into one corner is you want to make the least mess possible okay and then that's fine uh, I'm not going to fully clean that up because um, in the end the, the liquid metal is going to spread anyways. So, But what you do want to make sure is that the dye is like almost a mirror finish. You can kind of see a reflection there. Uh, sometimes if it's really, really dry and dirty, it'll have a residue. Um, normally it's not too big of a deal, but if it is too uh, thick of a residue, it'll still overheat in which case we'll take a blade a flat blade like this and uh, just going over the top very very shallow angle we'll just scratch it like this until that like residue comes off uh, and then we'll just um, clean that off with with this little wipe also this wipe because it has liquid metal on it now you have to be careful where you place it so don't place it over the board and after you're done throw it away immediately just uh, I always go through about like two or three wipes per uh, liquid metal installation uh, and then just throw it away. It, it's you don't want to risk getting the liquid metal on anything Cool, so now this has been cleaned up the liquid metal is inside of this syringe where you can put this aside and bring over This guy And we're gonna do the same exact process same exact uh, wipe. So again, just make sure that it's uh, saturated with alcohol And you're going to go around and wipe. And you do want to be careful over here not to get it on this outside part because uh, it will kind of stick more to that. Um, so just kind of keep it in the square. And there you go. Got one bubble here. So I'm just going to suck it up. Okay, there you go. Good enough. And I'm going to refold it back over because now this side is dirty. Refold it over. It's still kind of saturated. And now I really scrub again to make this into uh, kind of clean off any of that dirt. Okay. And uh, this stuff over here, I'm just going to kind of push it into that corner. That's it. So then to put it on, we're just going to take the liquid metal that we have already sucked up from these two. Uh, actually, one stuff that I haven't seen in a, a couple other videos is that sometimes the dirt um, 
the dirt from the old liquid metal will continue to remain inside of this. So what I'll do is, again, make sure that this is completely saturated, and I will push it all the way out. So this, uh, this is not too dirty, this liquid metal is not too dirty, and I can tell because it's very shiny. Uh, if it's dull, uh, that's how you can kind of tell that it has a dirt, and the dirt will always accumulate on the outside of the liquid metal. So if I have liquid metal that's super dirty, I will put that in, and then I'll just suck it up. And the last little bit of it, so you can see a little bit right there at the end, the last bit of it, I will remove it because that is where most of the dirt will be. Uh, and then that just removes the dirt from the liquid metal. And then we close, wipe this up, and we're done with this. Bring this over. Put a small little bit in the center, just like that. And then these come with the applicator, and uh, I just pretty much use the same one over, over again. If it starts feeling uh, not smooth, like you're really, uh, like you're pushing around kind of peanut butter on a surface, then then throw it away if you need a new one. And these are not the same as Q-tips. Um, we tried Q-tips here, and it just for some reason doesn't really, uh, I don't know if the fibers, the fibers are thinner on the black one, but uh, Q-tips for some reason didn't really work. So uh, this is the one that I use, and then you just spread it around, and it should be smooth. It should coat every single part. If you feel like you're going over a, a certain area and it's like um, kind of not sticking to that metal and it just kind of moves with it and it, you can still see the bare metal from the heat sink, then it's not sticking to it. You got to re-clean it with a new wipe and just keep rubbing it until... Uh, it completely coats just like this. A mirror surface, I can uh, slide this along and it's not, um, it's like coating the whole thing. Cool. So that one's done. Then we bring over the board. Put another little bit. And you really don't need to, uh, a lot, just, just a little bit. And the same thing, just a little bit and then spread it around and it should coat it completely and it should feel very smooth. Um, if you try to do this, this process of like spreading it on a dye that has not been wiped with an alcohol wipe, uh, you will be moving around all that dirt and it will feel like you're spreading kind of like peanut butter. So there you go. Okay, and then um, actually with that wipe that I just threw away, uh, it's still saturated. One of the other things that I'll do is just wipe all this off. And you can see all that dirt, all of that stuff. And there's a little bit of liquid metal here, but it's not it's not worth keeping. Just throw it out. Okay, so now this one's ready for the next wipe. Uh, and the other side hasn't been used yet. So I'm just going to put that aside. Now there's still a little bit in here. When you buy this, it will have some liquid metal inside of it. Um, I pretty much always reuse the customers. And then just kind of the extra that comes in the syringe, I use it as extra I guess but you don't want to put too much so this has a thin layer the heat sink has a thin layer so the board is fully done the heat sink uh, has that thin layer I'm just gonna put one more drop and it should completely just like spread out and it shouldn't clump in that one center so there you go I'm gonna put a little bit more another little dot cool and that's it uh, I add it to this because I'm going to flip the board to put it back in the housing like this. If I put too much on this, um, then it could like bubble up and then just fall off if I kind of tap it against something too diff too hard. So um, I'm just going to look at it. It looks fine. looks fine here. And then go ahead and install. And then you can put the, the brackets and shields and whatever and close it up, and that should be good. That is what you want to see in uh, a well-applied liquid metal uh, on the heat sink and on the die. Again, if it looks dry and dirty, you got to re-clean it, do it all over again.